In this video we take a look at 20 things that you may thought were true but actually are incorrect. Which of these common misconceptions did you take as fact? What others would you add to the list? Let me know in the comments. Number 20. Deoxygenated blood is blue. This is one that I always thought was true, but apparently not. So human blood contains haemoglobin, a complex protein molecule which are found in red blood cells. The haemoglobin contains iron. When the iron reacts with oxygen, this is what gives blood its red colour. Arteries in the body carry blood that is rich in oxygen away from the heart to be used by organs and tissues in the body, and the veins return deoxygenated blood to the heart. Blood in the human body is red regardless of how much oxygen is in it, however the shade of red may vary. As blood leaves the heart and is oxygen rich, it is bright red. When blood returns to the heart, it has less oxygen in it. However, it is still red but will be darker. This darker red appears blue simply because of how light travels through the skin. Number 19. The Great Wall of China can be seen from space. It is a common belief that the Great Wall of China is the only man-made object that can be seen from space. This would however appear not to be true according to Yang Dui who was China's first man in space. He said of being in space and looking back at Earth that the scenery was very beautiful but I didn't see the Great Wall. It is possible for astronauts that are a couple of hundred miles up in space to see man-made structures such as skyscrapers, but with the case of the Great Wall, it may be harder to spot because the Great Wall is a similar colour to the surrounding soil and is in a pretty bad state for large sections of it. Number 18. An orange is named after the colour. So the orange fruit got its name from the colour orange, right? In fact, it's the other way round. The colour orange got its name from the fruit. It is believed that fruit made its way to Europe around 1500. Before the colour orange got its name from the fruit, things that appeared orange in colour were simply referred to as yellowy red or just red. The word orange likely came from the Spanish word for orange, which is naranja, and in Old French the fruit became orange, which was adapted into English, eventually becoming orange. Number 17. Goldfish have short memories. You may have often heard people say that goldfish don't do much or that they only have a memory of about 7 seconds. In reality, the opposite is true. Various studies have shown that actually goldfish can remember things for months. One such study showed how goldfish learned how to press a lever to get food that had been placed in the tank and would regularly return to get more food. Number 16. Sugar makes children hyperactive. This belief originated from a single study that took place in the mid-1970s where a doctor removed sugar from one child's diet and the child's behaviour improved. However, a research study that took place in 1994 showed that actually sugar does not affect the behaviour or cognitive performance in children. What the 1994 study did show was that sugar changes parental expectations of their children. For example, parents who were told that their 5-7 to seven year old sons had ingested large amounts of sugar, but in reality had just been given a placebo, were more inclined to rate their children as more hyperactive than mothers who were told that their children received the placebo. Number 15. Chameleons change their colour to blend into the background. It is a common belief that the reason chameleons change their colour is so that they can blend into their surroundings to say hide from a potential predator. However, chameleons are very fast and can avoid most predators with ease, so camouflage is only really the secondary reason why most chameleons change their colour. It is believed that the main reason for chameleons changing their colour is to reflect their mood, and therefore send signals to other chameleons with lighter colours used to potentially attract a mate for example. Some chameleons will also change their colour to help their bodies adjust to changes in temperature or light. A chameleon that gets cold might change to a darker colour to absorb more heat and therefore warm its body. Number 14. It takes 7 years to digest gum if you swallow it. How often were you told by your parents not to swallow gum because it takes 7 years to leave your stomach? According to experts it's unlikely this would happen. While the gum base is insoluble and gum does indeed stick to your shoe if you were to tread on it, 
Gum, however, does not stick to your stomach wall or intestinal tract and will just simply travel the same path that food does and will be excreted in the same way. It's hard to pinpoint where this myth came from, but it may be simply that it was a way for generations of parents to try and teach their children to not swallow non-food items. Number 13. Hands and feet go wrinkly when exposed to water for a long time. How many times have you been in the bath for a long period of time and found that your hands and feet start to go wrinkly? Most people assume that this happens because they've been in the bath or swimming pool for a long period of time, but actually scientists believe the reason for this happening is that wrinkly fingers will help our grip on wet or submerged objects and our feet will grip better and work to channel water away much like the rain treads that are found in car tyres. Number 12 the monster is called Frankenstein. This popular misconception is largely due to the early films leaving people with the impression that the monster's name is Frankenstein, when in fact Frankenstein was the name of the scientist in Mary Shelley's classic horror novel. So if the scientist is named Frankenstein, what was the name of the monster? The monster was never given a name in the novel. Some characters in the story did give the monster a name, such as simply the thing or creature. It was always Mary Shelley's intention that the monster have no name, and she made this clear when the story was first adapted to stage not long after the novel was written. Number 11. You shouldn't go swimming after you've just eaten. It is a common belief held by many that you should wait at least 30 minutes to an hour before going swimming after eating, but is this the case? This belief is based on the fact that after eating a meal some of your blood flow from your muscles are diverted to your stomach to aid digestion, therefore swimming might inhabit that necessary blood flow which could cause cramps leaving you unable to swim. The truth is that research has disputed the food and drowning link and questioned whether there was any correlation between the two. It is true that swimming on a full stomach could be uncomfortable and could lead to unexpected reflux or vomiting. However, studies have not established any correlation between cramp, cold shock response, drowning and digestion. Where there would be a risk would be if the meal was accompanied by alcohol or alcohol was consumed on its own, as alcohol impairs judgement and physical ability to react. Number 10. The colour red makes balls angry. So what's the deal with balls hating the colour red? In fact, it's not that they hate it, they actually can't see the colour red. Like most cattle, they are partially colour blind, as they lack the red retina receptor and can only see yellow, green, blue and violet colours. Why is it then that when something red is waved at them, they charge? The answer is, is it likely that it's the waving motion of the matador's red cape that enrages the ball and not the colour? This is similar to the snake moving to the snake charmer's music myth, as snakes cannot hear music and it is the movement of the snake charm's instrument or the tapping of his feet that the snake is attracted to. Number 9. Putting a wet phone into rice. We have all heard about this and I'm sure many of us have done it with a smartphone or other electronic device because we thought it was the right thing to do. The theory goes that putting your phone into a container of uncooked rice will mean that the rice will draw out the water from the wet phone or device. In reality, tests have shown that it doesn't work and could actually make things worse by encouraging dust and starch to get into the phone, which could damage it further. It has been demonstrated that the rice solution was slower than simply leaving the affected phone out somewhere. According to Apple's website, leaving the affected phone in front of a fan blowing cool air will help the drying process. Number 8. Owls call twit too. When you hear an owl calling twit too, or more accurately, kuwik, hoo hoo hoo, it's actually not one owl making the sounds. When you hear the kuwik, hoo hoo hoo, it's more likely a male answering a female or another male. As well as tawny owls making these sounds we are familiar with, there are many other sounds that tawny owls make that sadly we will rarely get to hear. Number 7. Big Ben, Elizabeth Tower So what do you call this iconic building? Big Ben, right? Well, Big Ben is actually the name, or rather a nickname, given to the large bell in the tower. Its official name is the Great Bell. So if this iconic building is not called Big Ben, what is its name? 
Originally it was known as the Clock Tower or St Stephen's Tower and was renamed as the Elizabeth Tower in 2012 to honour Queen Elizabeth II's Diamond Jubilee. What we aren't sure about is where the nickname Big Ben came from. One theory suggests that it came from Sir Benjamin Hall, who was a civil engineer and politician who was in office at the time the clock tower was erected. Number 6. The Tongue Map I remember learning about this at school and having to draw the tongue map, but it turns out that it's wrong. The tongue map, which I'm sure you are familiar with, shows the different taste receptors and where they are located on the tongue, such as sweet in the front and bitter at the back. It was debunked by scientists some time ago, and rather than as the tongue map depicted that the ability to taste sweet, salty, sour and bitter was sectioned off to parts of the tongue, they are in fact distributed all over. It is true that the tip and edges of the tongue are particularly sensitive to taste as these areas contain many more taste buds, but as for the tongue map, it's just another one of those things learned in school that isn't true. Number 5. Bananas grow on trees. Although the plant that bananas grow on may look like a tree because the stem part looks a bit like a tree trunk, the banana plant is in fact a herb with a stem of tightly packed sheaves of leaves and the fruit is technically a berry. Another reason why people may believe that bananas grow on trees is the mistaken view that bananas grow on palm trees. This could be down to the fact, like already mentioned, that the stem of the banana plant resembles a trunk or palm. Banana plants aren't a shrub or bush either. Number 4. Lightning never strikes the same place twice. This is one of those myths that actually the complete opposite is true. While the chances of being struck by lightning are low, the chances of lightning striking the same place twice are actually high. Lightning can hit the same spot multiple times either during the same weather occurrence or on different occasions. Lightning will very often strike tall buildings such as skyscrapers multiple times as it is the easiest path for the lightning to take. There are many factors that can affect the ability of a certain spot where lightning may strike, such as the presence of water, rocks, minerals and metal in the ground. Number 3. Vikings wore helmets with horns on. When you think of Vikings, you probably think like most other people that they wore helmets with horns on, when in reality there is no evidence that they did. So far there have been no helmets with horns on discovered in any archaeological dig. They did however wear helmets but these were more like skull caps that were designed to protect their head from any impact. So if they didn't wear helmets with horns on, where did this myth originate from? It appears that the idea of Vikings in horned helmets was seared into our imagination by Richard Wagner's The Ring Cycle opera that was loosely based on the Norse sagas. The costume designer created horned helmets for the Viking characters. Furthermore, a number of filmmakers, artists and cartoonists have continued this myth to the present day. Another example is in the popular comic strip Hager the Horrible, who sports a helmet with horns on. Number 2. Ostriches bury their heads in the sand when they are scared. So if ostriches don't bury their heads in the sand when scared or frightened, why does it appear that they do? In the case of when an ostrich is frightened, it will flop to the ground if it senses danger and is not able to get away. Ostriches are flightless birds and therefore unable to build nests in trees, so instead they lay their eggs in holes in the ground. To make sure that the eggs are evenly heated, they will from time to time stick their heads into the nest and rotate the eggs, which makes it look like they are trying to hide. Number 1. Bats are blind. So have you ever been told that you are blind as a bat? Well it turns out that bats aren't blind, but for some reason we have associated them with being blind, but having enhanced hearing. The latter of course is true. The misconception that bats are blind has risen from the fact that bats are nocturnal creatures and because they hunt mostly at night, when lighting conditions are dark. Bats do rely on sound to pinpoint their prey, but this does not have any connection to blindness, in fact, bats' eyes are attuned to low light conditions to better aid them in finding their prey and are enhanced by their super hearing power. 
I hope you enjoyed the video and found it interesting. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing and ring that bell for notifications of future videos. Thanks for watching.